Hi guys, happy Sunday. Today is Sunday and we just got back from church and I'm about to have my <laughs> Sunday meal. Normally after Sunday, we go to a restaurant and eat. Like we always eat out every Sunday after church. We normally buy fast food because, by fast food I mean from a fast food restaurant, we buy regular food because this is yam and egg here. So yeah, we usually buy fast food because when we go to a regular restaurant is either they are not open you know at the time that we go there that is either they're not open or they're not, they don't open on sundays at all or the few that are open you will wait before they bring food for you you will wait it's almost as if as we enter there they will now run to markets to go and buy ingredients <laughs> i mean that might not be the case but the truth is that most restaurants we are always waiting for food and you know what it's not even it's not even worth it for us at this point because it's not as if the food is that fantastic to start with you know most times regular restaurants are usually very very expensive and on top of that the food is not even fantastic and you wait and wait and wait so what's the point so we just go to normal fast food buy our food come back home and eat okay sometimes we eat there depending on if i want the kids to play or not but yeah, service today was wonderful. So I was having a conversation with somebody recently and we're talking about, you know, children, church and, you know, churches and all of that. One thing I appreciate about my church is their children church, okay? Because a lot of things that I know now, I learned them when I was a child going to children's church, okay? For children, for me or for children, children should always go to children's church like dedicated church that is for children they're going to learn better they're going to understand scripture better they're going to learn at their own you know um cap capacity basically and yeah because of it i always make sure my children go to children's church once my children are old enough to start you know walking and talking and staying on their own they always go to children's church you know because i really i really appreciate the children's church in my life not just children's church youth church you know young teen church you know things like that like um age focused or maturity focused <laughs> no not maturity but age focused services and churches and you know classes i really really appreciate it so yeah this is just for anybody who you know normally does not allow their children to go to children church it depends on the church too sharp because in my own church i trust the children church very well in fact one day maybe i'm going to just vlog my church like vlog everything about the church you know i'm going to do that the truth is that on a normal day sha, i don't like bringing out my camera in church like i don't like it's my phone i don't like bringing as in it's weird to me to be in church and be bringing out your phone like i can do it let's say now i want to create content that day i will do it but even at that for me it takes away from you know the experience like i can even bring out my camp my phone i can even vlog like, let's say entering church or coming out of church but you see during service carry your phone and start video i, I, I don't know it just even when I see people do it, I'm like, why? When I see people post it on stories, I mean, I'm not judging them, I'm not, because everybody's own is different, right? They, as long as you are led to do it or it makes sense to do it, then that's fine because I'm sure some people would see you post about your church and decide to go to church, okay? Some people might see you post about you, you're always going to church and they'll decide to, oh, them to let them start going to their own churches, right? However, for me as a person, I feel very odd when church is going on and people bring out their phone to video the church service i feel like that means you're not really in, engrossed in the worship <laughs> because me i like worship i like dancing i like singing like this is my dance that i like dancing it's, it's, it's very, both church anywhere i like dancing right so i feel like for me to bring out my phone to either capture pastor preaching or capture the dance and everything it means i'm not so engrossed in it right i can even video performances like let's say now like last sunday we had Panam Percy Paul in my church and I was, I was so excited because I mean, I've been listening to his music forever, since forever. Praising the Lord is all I've come to do. <laughs> you know, all those songs that we did choreography to growing up, they were from him, right? So when I saw him in church, I know my father likes him as well. So I just, you know, captured some of it and sent it to my family group and told my, my family members, I asked who came to our church today. You know, my parents were excited because they they even knew him, not like knew him personally, but he launched one of his albums in our church then in Abuja. When we were in Abuja, he launched one of his albums there. They've met him before. So they were really excited. I mean, the guy has 12 kids. Is it 12 kids? Something like four kids and six adopted. Like, I think it was four domestic I say domestic four biological kids and then six adopted kids then he has like 21 grandchildren and two or three great grandchildren i was like wow so 
I captured just a little clip of his ministration, his singing, and I sent it to our family group for my father to see. But aside that, like I can't, I can't like put normal praise and worship. Normal, I can't do it. So. Let me know in the comment section if you guys get where I'm coming from. Again, I'm not judging people who do. Like I said, people are different and ministration is different. After all, during church service, some people are standing outside trying to control traffic, trying to sort one or two things you know, out. It does not mean that what they're doing is bad. It just means that that is their own ministry, right? So I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm just saying that for me personally, I'm not called to do that, okay? At least not now. I'm a vlogger, but it's not maybe that kind of vlog. I want I want the vlog, okay? But maybe one day I'll do a dedicated vlog to just showing you, you know, my church and inviting you guys to church and you know because I see people, I, I meet a lot of people in church actually, or like I meet a lot of you know subscribers in church and I'm like wow like so maybe one day I'll do a dedicated vlog, you know, about my church, about the pastor, the, the the children's church especially. One thing I love so much about my church, and I'm going to do that vlog one day. I don't know that day. I'm not coming here to worship like a spirit and a truth. <laughs> I'm coming here to, for a mission, right? Which I don't know. Do, doing it once in a while is not bad, but yeah. Anyway, so let me just finish my food. I have a lot of things to do this new week. Is lined up with so many activities. I need to go and make my hair. I'm losing my hair. I forgot I'm supposed to make hair on Saturday. So, I'm supposed to go to the salon on Saturday. So, on Friday, we didn't lose their hair. So, we ended up losing their hair on Saturday. So, today that is Sunday now. I'll find out from the salon when they're going to open so that my, I'll carry my kids there because normally I'd just let them to pack their hair to, to church, to school. But that packing hair is not easy. Oh. It's not easy. My children have very dense thick hair. It's not easy to be packing hair every time. Like you have to be repacking. I'm not in the mood for that. So they will go and make their hair. So yeah, I've just asked what time they are going to open. So once they open, I'll go and make my kids' hair and my own hair. I'll carry you guys along for that. Let me just finish my food. Actually, let me just go and tell my husband. So let's go and watch a movie or something while we eat. Hi, Sophia. Hi Eva. How are you? Hi Cora. Hi Cora. Hi. Let's do a lens check for you. Go and charge it. What happened? Tell me if he's done. He will. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful here. Mm -hmm. Show mommy your hair. Come oh. closer. Oh. <laughs> Come closer then. Uh, I turn around. Wow, come let me turn back, turn it turn it back, let me see. Nice, turn, 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 turn. It's beautiful. Oh, it's green, sure. It doesn't look like it's green. Your hair looks very nice. What's your friend's name? My friend's name. Eh? What's his name? Ask him now. Ask him what his name is. It's Quaggo. It's Quaggy. What are you doing with your friend? My friend is not swimming here. You know what? Yes, mommy. Hi, guys. <laughs> Why am I looking like an orange, orange and pink balloon? Anyway, how you guys doing? Um, so today is Monday. I just finished filming plenty of videos today. I don't know why. I feel good today. I don't know why. I just, I feel good. Like, anyway, I filmed some videos and, you know, I want to see. You guys, Cora does not trust me. Cora told me that she, she needs gum to go and make cards for a um, birthday card for Kobe. Kobe's birthday is tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I trust you. So let me mine. let me finish my gist now. 
So Cora came to meet me that can she go and make cards? She wants she likes making cards for people. Like every time, is either she's making digital cards or physical cards or writing notes. She, she likes things like that, okay? I pers I particularly don't really care for things like that, but I like it for the crafty aspect, okay? I'm guessing they are. So I now told her that, you know what, since she wants to make a card for Kobe, she should just wait, let me finish what I'm doing, then I'll come and we'll make the card together. Karen I said, eh, okay, I know, but can I go and do my own by, by myself first? And I feel like the reason why she's saying that is because many times I'll tell her, no, don't worry, we'll do it together, and then I'll not forget. When she now comes to ask me, I'll now be like, ah, I'm very, very busy, don't worry, later. I'll not forget, she will not forget, the person's birthday will not pass, and it will pain her. So I feel like that's why, is that why? Yeah. Are you sure that's why? Yeah, I feel like that's why when I told her, she was like, eh, eh, eh. it's not that one. Kobe is her very good friend. So, yeah, like I know if I if we don't make that card for Kobe, it's going to pain her. So, I promised you and I'm going to do it. Let us go and make the card for Kobe, okay? Nana. Yes. Okay. I'm serious. You guys, I got a package from Big. I actually got quite a number of them. So, I'm doing a giveaway for packages like this for Big. So, locate my instagram if you're interested in getting a package like this please locate my instagram there are some goodies there i unboxed it there so you'll see what the things are inside and if you're interested let me know and then i'll send it to you okay but delivery is going to be on you okay but yeah i'll just package it and send it to you so let me know if you are interested and if you're not following me on instagram please go and follow me on instagram it is at adese space i do basically all kinds of contents there Oh, my face is oily, but my face has tried to do since morning. And I got this my hair band from number one hair band on Instagram. Yeah, so I worked with them a while ago. Like I did a small unboxing for them a while ago. So I decided to just buy some more from them because I just saw these new turbans that she posted the other day. And I was like, hmm, I like it. I like things like this. So I like things like this. So yeah, and this one, I'm just going. I'm doing all pink today, okay? Even though my lips is not really pink, but I'm doing all pink today. I like it. And then this earring is from Every Woman's Shop, also on Instagram. Affordable, but beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Anyway, um, let's go and do the cards together. I so What? You want something to say? Come here. How come I'm a somebody, right? Mm -hmm. And you're giving out those things. I mean, somebody, why won't you not give me? I mean, somebody. <laughs> I have some for you now. I have some for the house. That one is my own. And I have other ones I want to give out, not this particular one. Okay, so this one is for all of you. Okay, I'll say I'm a somebody. Yeah. <laughs> but, somebody. but it's good as you talk, though, because that's how people will be here now. I'm going to share everything. But no, me, I like stationery so much that there's no way I would have not kept some for you you guys. So people have your own here. But anyway, let's go and make Kobe's card. Oh, your hand is wet. So this 
is the card that we made for Kobe. I was the one who wrote everything, and it's in Bawasi for me.